So now let's go ahead and create the client app for that new new project let's have an empty activity for this because we need a button which on press of that it should call this service so let's take an empty activity press next let's name it as a ideal client and it's java seems good click finish okay so first we will quickly create an activity here no activity we already have we'll just add a button to that activity so it has a text view at the moment instead we will add a button okay and remove this text view and use some constraint all the places okay so now maybe we can make it a little bigger okay the name let's keep it as button itself and the text we can change it to change my color so i won't press off this button um, we are expecting this one to get the color from the aidl service okay so now we need to copy the aidl interface files so for that let's first create one aidl folder here click on aidl and um, the interface name uh, let's keep it aidl color interface which is same as the server interface file just click on finish so now it has created this uh, file now let's go back to the server app and uh, let's copy the content of this thing including the package name come back to the client and just replace everything with this please note the package name so we are using the package name from the server okay now we need to also rename this package name to aidl server let's refactor rename we will just rename this directory okay, aidl server factor so now we have com.tollcafe.aidl server is the package name here so this is pretty important step uh, please make a note here you can see the difference between the page name here this is aidl client and here within the aidl folder it is aidl server so just make sure your aidl file always resides with the package name same as the server where it is defined okay so now let's go ahead and build it rebuild it so now the framework has already generated the steps here similar to what we have seen in the server okay so now let's go ahead and do the changes in the main activity to bind to the service and on click of the button call this service let's first define an object of this interface i ideal color interface service yeah, let's add service now create a service connection object so here we have two methods on service connected on service disconnect so on service connected will be called when the service is connected or binded to the um, aidl service and this will get called whenever the service gets disconnected so now basically we need to initialize this object the interface object for that we use iadl color interface so this is nothing but the file which the framework created the interface class file which the framework created so dot stop class dot as interface so there is a method within that so here this one so this is a static method um, which basically takes in the binder object okay? and it would uh, basically return turn the interface object we should call it by passing this binder object and this will basically initialize this interface object we can use this interface object now to call those methods like this like get, get color but uh, we should not do that here instead we have to create a on click listener for the button and do it inside create this tag variable okay so that's done so now the next step is to create the intent which points to the service so here we create the intent using the action so this action is what we have defined in the manifest of the aidl server in the aidl server in the manifest file we have defined this intent filter right earlier contains the aidl color service we are using the same action in the main activity here so this will explicitly point to that service which we have created and then we are setting the package name as com.tollcafe.aidl server okay so this is the package name of the aidl server okay and after that we are using the bind service so the bind service takes three parameters first one is the intent which explicitly points to the service which we created that's nothing but the aidl service and then we have the m connection object so this is basically the connection object which we created then we have a flag bind auto create 
what this does is if the service is existing it will automatically create the service service will not be always running so if there is no client for the service then the service will be automatically stopped whenever a new client binds to the service the service will be automatically created in case if the service is not running already so that is what this third parameter does so now next step is to create an on click listener button so for this first we create a button object by referring to the button r.id.button remember that we kept the name of the uh, button as button this one in the xml this will create an object of that button and then we are setting a listener to that button inside this on click event we basically get uh, initialized a color variable and this color value will be populated by this service so instead of i remote service you have to name it as i adl color service dot color so now let's go ahead and um, run this in the emulator i have the emulator here first the aidl server this is the aidl server project go ahead and generate an apk so this is the one so you can simply drag and drop the apk into the emulator to install it so it's already installed now let's try it once again yeah it's installing so you don't need to really use adp to install um so in these cases you can simply drag and drop okay and now let's come back to the client and let's run this okay so this is our app and when you click on change my color it should change the color of the button so it's happening and just to make sure the server is getting cold we can go to locat and open adl server okay and just clear the logs and let's click here so then you can see that in the adl server it's uh, basically generating the color and sending it back so the get color this is the color which is getting returned when you click on it it's returning it these are the logs coming out of the AI DL server. So I hope you understood uh, how to implement an AI DL with two applications from this tutorial. So in case if you have any doubts or any any other uh, questions, uh, please add a comment, and I'll be more than happy to respond. Thank you so much.